Since Autograph version 2025.1, a new feature allows you to convert an After Effects project into an Autograph project. But first, let's go to the After Effects preferences, and more specifically to the Scripting and expression section. Make sure that the Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network option is checked. If it isn't, the Autograph exporter won't be able to write files to disk. Start by locating where your project is stored on the storage. By going to the File menu, then Save as in After Effects, we can see that in our case, it's in the After Effects to Autograph folder. Go back to Autograph, access the File menu, and choose Convert AE Project. Go to the same folder and load your project. A message appears indicating that the project is being converted. Autograph starts the default After Effects version on your machine in the background in order to execute a script to convert the project. We'll see later that it's this After Effects startup that takes the most time in the process. Once the project has been converted, a window appears offering to save a new project in Autograph format. Let's give this project the name imported from After Effect and click on the Save button. The project has now been converted and saved in Autograph format. As you can see, it initially contains shape animations, text animations, parenting between layers and track mat, enabling this waterfall video to appear at the end of the animation. The Left Angle team is working version by version to support more and more features from After Effects. Autograph's documentation contains an After Effects importer section, where you can find out which features are supported. Let's return to After Effects and modify one of the animation parameters on the text layer. Let's access this layer's parameter, and more specifically the range selector whose shape parameter uses ramp up mode. Let's switch the range selector's shape parameter to ramp down mode to reverse the character movement. Save this project in After Effects and return to Autograph. Close the current project to delete its contents then import the AEP project again. The import message appears again and After Effects is called up in the background to execute the script. We save this project, overwriting the previous one, and see that the change made to the shape parameter is now visible after the project has been imported into Autograph. Project conversion can also be performed on the After Effects side by calling up a JSX script supplied with Autograph. If we go to the Autograph Installation folder, we'll find a Resources folder containing another AE Converter folder, in which we'll find the script in JSX format. Let's select and copy the path for quick access to this script, then return to After Effects and the original animation. We now go to the File menu, Script and Run Script. Paste the path to the JSX script. Double-click on the Convert to Autograph JSX file and a window appears allowing you to save a new file with the name of your project followed by the extension pi, designating a Python script. This Python script will be found in the folder, ready to be run in Autograph to recreate the project. To execute this Python script, we'll close the project and go to the Panels menu to display the Python console. The button representing a folder with a play symbol is used to load a script and then execute it. We access the Python file generated from After Effects and see that this time conversion is much faster as Autograph doesn't need to invoke After Effects to perform the conversion. To better understand the actions performed by Autograph, let's start by closing this project and clicking on the button next to the one used previously to load and run the script in the Python console. The Python script will then appear with around 2,000s and 500s lines of code for this project executing one by one the actions required to recreate the project. Let's move this Python window to the bottom right hand corner of the interface so as to have a parallel view of the project panel. Clicking on the play button executes the script, recreating the entire animation. The graphic elements have been imported into the project panel and the animations recreated using Autograph's tools.